Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is sample collection, transport and testing for the COVID-19 that is coronavirus disease 2019 which is caused by the novel coronavirus. So first, what are the samples to be collected? So there are essential samples which are throat swab which is also called as a oropharyngeal swab, nasal swab which is also called as a nasopharyngeal swab and other preferred samples are Bronco alveolar lavage, tracheal aspirate, and the sputum. And all these samples should be collected in wide mouth sterile plastic containers. In lab confirmed patients, the blood samples and the urine and stool samples can also be collected, and it should be collected in again in wide mouth sterile plastic containers. These are the information related to the what are the various samples which, which we can collect in the COVID-19. Now, how to do the collection of oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal swabs? So the optimal timing for the collection of oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal swabs are, it should be collected within three days of symptom onset and no later than seven days and Preferably prior to the initiation of antimicrobial chemoprophylaxis or therapy. So that is the optimal timing for the oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal swab. Now, how to do the collection of oropharyngeal swab? So the materials required for the oropharyngeal swabs are first sterile dacron or nylon swab, and the second is the viral transport medium. It and the capacity for the viral transport medium is 3 ml. Procedure for the oropharyngeal swab is hold the tongue out of the way with the tongue depressor, then use a sweeping motion to swab posterior pharyngeal wall and tonsillar pillars and make sure have the subject to say R to elevate the uvula. Avoid swabbing of soft palate and do not touch the tongue with swab tip and put the swab in viral transport medium. That is the procedure for the oropharyngeal swab. Now how to do the collection of nasopharyngeal swab. So the materials required for the nasopharyngeal swabs are sterile dacron or nylon flock swab and the viral transport medium. And the procedure for the nasopharyngeal swab is tilt the patient's head back 70 degrees Insert the swab into nostril and allow the swab to remain in place for several seconds to absorb the secretions and slowly remove the swab while rotating it and place the swab into viral transport medium. So that is how to do the collection of nasopharyngeal swab. Now blood collection from the positive cases. So the blood sample should be, uh, must be collected from all the positive cases and Blood should be collected in the EDTA vials for the plasma sample and it also can be collected in the resin separated tubes for the serum sample collection. That is how to do the blood collection for the positive case. Now guidance for the specimen collection. So biosafety level 2 containment level is required to handle the suspected samples. Consider all specimen as a potential hazardous or infectious. Handle all specimen with the gloves in secure manner. Place each specimen into separate container labeled with patient's name, identification number, collection site, date of collection and the time of collection. And do not contaminate the outside of the specimen container and do not touch the requisition form with the gloves. These are the guidance for the specimen collection and make sure that the person who is collecting the sample has wore the personal protective equipment. Now storage of specimen. Keep refrigerated that is 2 to 8 centigrade if sample is to be processed within 48 hours frozen that is minus 10 to minus 20 centigrade if it is to be processed after the first 48 hours and within the 7 days and keep frozen at minus 70 
degree if it is to be processed after a week. The sample can be preserved for the extended period. So that is the uh, how you can store the sample. Now packaging system. The original sample should be packed, label, label, marked and documented as a category B and the standard triple packing for the category B to be followed. Sample to be sent on dry ice if possible, however, using cold packs is also acceptable. And sender should provide prior intimation about the shipment of samples to the nearest certified laboratory. So that is the package system. And this is the standard triple packaging system. This is the primary container, this is the secondary container and the, this is the third container. The primary container should be a water leak proof and it should be tight and it should be placed in the upright position in the secondary container. Secondary container should be also leak proof and multiple other uh, samples can also be placed in the secondary container. While the third container it should be made from the solid material and so it, it should be having sign which indicates that it is a it contains the biohazard material. So that is the third container. Now labeling of the packet. So it should contain sender's, uh, sender's name, address and the telephone number. It should also contain whom to contact in case of emergency with the telephone number. Receiver's name, address and telephone number should also be there. Proper shipping name that is biological substance category B and it should indicate UN number. It should also indicate temperature storage requirements and quantity, quantity of dry ice inside the container and it also should indicate arrow which indicates upright direction. So that is how to do the labeling of package. Now types of test. So no validated sero serological tests are available for the COVID-19. Only molecular diagnosis is available for the detection of virus that is all that is done with the help of polymerase chain reaction and the real-time PCR platform is required for that. So these are the types of tests. And total 51 VRDL doing testing for the COVID-19 are available across the India. This is the map, sh uh, map showing the same. In Gujarat, there are two centers. One is one is in the Ahmedabad and another is in the Jamnagar. That is BJ Medical College Ahmedabad and MP Shah Medical College Jamnagar. And total 56 VRDL as a collection sites. And this is the map, map for the same.